I have engaged with Irana's practice for more than two decades now and I find very interesting his artistic journey. I noticed that in this exhibition called Budi, which in his uh, regional language or local language of Kannad means um, a stage between wood and fire turning into ash, turning white, turning grey and there is emergence between matter and uh, energy and then how it takes on a new form. Ash has been a uh, medium that he has used very often, very frequently. In fact, uh, of late, for the last uh, many years, he has been interested in using um, uh, more of uh, earth matter or material which is dug from the earth. I am really moved in the way that he has created both his cultural forms and his paintings. Each work stands solitary and yet resonates with one another, resonates with each other. For instance, a, a single log of tree trunk placed against the wall. When you first approach it, you, you think it's a tree log cut and placed there. But that's deceptive because he has worked with such care and intensity to really bring out the textures of the tree trunk and give you a feeling of a dead tree. It bears an effect quality. It has something about its existence which is both unsettling as well as um, forces you to think about it, about its existence. Even when I look at his paintings, I'm quite amazed at his application and treatment. Uh, there are underlayers, several underlayers, uh, which are uh, to do with paint. But on top of it, he uses ash powder, he, he sprinkles coal powder, he uses uh, clay powder, he uses indigo, he uses various such powders to create effects of fragility, of vulnerability, of sand, of, uh, of layers disappearing, of something re-emerging. And that uh, tangibility, that uh, evocation of touch in his paintings is, is very sensitive. It carries with it uh, uh, several kinds of uh, emotions and it talks about the artist and his own, um, his own understanding or his own sensitivity towards everything that he sees around him. In the smaller works here, I was quite moved in the way that he created, uh, um, created textures which talk about environment but also talk about erasure, talk about traces, take us uh, back to primordial uh, markings of the hand, hand imprints left by people who lived uh, in, in caves, you know. So there is this kind of uh, uh, connection that Irana makes with the past, with the ancient past, with uh, this whole idea of human existence and what it meant then and what it has come to now. And it also makes us think, what are we going to do with this earth? What are we going to do with this universe uh, that we inhabit, uh, you know, as we go forward?